The governor signed legislation adopting an official state code spelling out 10 principles for living that are outlined in a book by former Wall Street investor James Owen called Code of the West. The 10 codes of conduct are as follows. Live courageously. Take pride in your work. Finish what you start. Do what is necessary. Be tough but fair. Keep promises. Ride for the brand. Talk less and say more. Remember some things are not for sale and know where to draw the line. What Wyoming Signature's Jeffrey Lockwood would like to know is, is this the proper role of government? Lockwood explores this question with University of Wyoming Professor of Philosophy, Rob Coulter. Rob, thanks for visiting with me today. Glad to be here, Jeff. Especially the willingness to engage in a pretty messy topic, which is morality, because people are all the time making these claims about some policy or law or action or behavior being ethical or unethical. So before we dig into cowboy ethics, let's <laughs> step back a second here. And uh, as a philosopher, um, what do you mean? What ought we to mean when we say <laughs> something is ethical? Uh, well, that's actually a very tricky question. I mean, like you said, um, a lot of these uh, well, you hear the notion of ethics or that's ethical or that's not ethical used all the time. And I think a lot of people mean a lot of different things by that. Um, sort of at one level, um, it's easy to talk about ethics as, you know, rules to live by, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, classic list of rules, something like the Ten Commandments, don't steal, don't lie, don't, um, don't commit adultery, don't, don't commit murder. Uh, these are often considered ethics. You also get ethics more um, locally based, for example, when we talk about professional ethics for, say, lawyers or doctors and so on. Right. And they might have specific ethical problems uh, that they're concerned with, that their profession is concerned with. Um, the term ethical or ethics, though, comes from uh, an ancient Greek term, uh, ethos or ethos, which broadly means something like custom or habit, right? But even more broadly, the way things are done. The, the way things are done proper, not just descriptively, but the way things sort of ought to be. This is the way we, this is the way we do things as in sort of a admonition. Right? Yeah, is I that think that's right for the most part. I mean, the, the Greek term, I think, like the English term I just used, the way things are done, can be used either way, mm -hmm. uh, depending on the context. but. I, I like the way you put it. This is the way we do things is, mm -hmm. is I think, the way it's most commonly talked about. Well, you know, a lot of times in sort of modern ethics, the, you know, it's usually formulated in terms of utility, the greatest good for the greatest sure. number. It might be framed in terms of rights. But, you know, well, you certainly know because that's your field, right? In the, in the Greek notion, you know, it was framed in terms of virtue. So, you know, how one ought to live. It goes back to that, that notion of, of, of ethos or, or <coughs> athos, right? And, and maybe the one that seems to me to be the sort of thing that, that Aristotle might have latched on to is the first one on the list, and that is live each day with courage. Is that, is, is that coming closer to? Yeah, I, I think that really does. I mean, one of Aristotle's, for example, favorite virtues, uh, <clears throat> and one he explores to a great extent, is courage. Mm -hmm. uh, courage or bravery. Um, and, and other Greeks thought a lot about it, too. And, uh, you know, it's one of the virtues extolled in the most ancient of our Greek sources in Homer mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, you know, war heroes are courageous, right? That's the paradigm example. Um, but I think the key difference between uh, an ancient ethical view, or an ancient Greek ethical view at least, and the way we talk about it in terms of the greatest good for the greatest number or a list of rules or something like that is that for the Greeks, ethics, I think, in the end, is really something that's based on the person as opposed to their actions. Uh, one way to sum it up is to say this modern view is that a good person is someone who does good actions. Right. Right. So that's how we determine who's a good person or not, based on whether what or not they, they did. Mm -hmm. on what they do. Whereas for the Greeks, good actions are those done by good people. Ah, so the notion here maybe to sort of take this and, 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 uh, and wrap it back around to the legislature, is this, this notion that if we want to know uh, that, that it's really about building character, right? About That's right. And if you are a, a, a good sort of person who has pursued the virtues, 
then what comes out of your life is good actions. That's right. And so, I mean, in kind of a weird way, I mean, and maybe sort of in an interesting way, the Wyoming legislature is revisiting a 2,000 year old mm -hmm. political discussion and maybe rediscovering on our own terms things that were talked about in the era of, of uh, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. I think there's something to be said for that. I mean, w one might wonder about how self-conscious the sure. legislature is about this. But um, by calling this movement or legislation, however we want to put it, cowboy ethics, um, we're seeing a paradigm put forward. Right. Right. And here, in this case, it's the cowboy. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas for some of the ancients, it was, you know, the Trojan War hero mm -hmm. or somebody like that. And be like that. Right. As opposed to do this, don't do that. Be like that. Be like that. So, Rob, one of the concerns that we might have with a code of cowboy ethics is whether this is even the proper role of government. I've heard the phrase, right? Yeah. You can't legislate morality. What, what about this notion that uh, politicians shouldn't be mucking around in, 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 in ethics? Well, I mean, on the one hand, uh, it seems to me that we clearly can legislate morality since we do. <laughs> um, you know, we legislate against murder and... Uh, lots of people want legislation against all sorts of other actions or activities. That they know. consider unethical or harmful, sure. That's right, for all sorts of reasons. So at one level, I think it's just simply false that we can't legislate morality. Uh, I think the more interesting question is whether or not it's the role of the government right. uh, to do that, uh, to tell us what we ought to do, mm -hmm. as opposed to, I don't know, just organize our militia or, uh, what <laughs> our, you know, our defense or or whatever it is, as opposed to telling us what to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems to me that history shows us, and especially if we go back to the Greeks, that it is in fact the proper role. Uh, you used the phrase uh, developing character. Mm -hmm. uh, for Aristotle, for example, that was in fact one of the very central things that, that a, a state or a community, uh, which he called a political system, um, was supposed to do. It was supposed to raise people of good character. Mm -hmm. And how else do you do that but by enacting laws that promote ethics? Sure, I guess if we think of a school as an extension of a family and we think of a community as an extension of a school and we think of a legislature as an extension of a community, That's right. then what you have is at all these levels, um, uh, individ you know, groups and individuals talking about and, and advocating um, better ways of living. Yes, not only that, but but with a particular view sometimes of what is a good way of living right. and what isn't. And, uh, you know, Aristotle uh, indicated to us in the politics that um, it is, in fact, the purpose of a, a state or a city or a community to raise good people or good citizens. And so for Aristotle, the answer to should we legislate morality is... You must. Yeah. It would be immoral not to legislate That's right, morality. and it would be a failure of the state in doing its duty. Well, thank you very much for visiting with me today, um, and maybe it's Let's not such it. a bad idea to be like that. <laughs> I think so.